have a world This is me That should be Mm-mm, yeah Uh, Alright, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not actually an episode of Saddle Club. It's in fact your boy Tessies. <laughs> squad, 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 squad. <laughs> What's going on? What is happening, yo? Today, today I'm going to talk to uh, talk to you all about something, something that's a bit of a, a bit of a dirty word in the motorcycling community. And it gets thrown around quite a bit. And I thought I'd try and clarify this for uh, uh, for, for new riders, people that don't know what I'm talking about. But also just sort of just so we can have some sort of metric when whenever discussing this topic. So squidding, right? <sighs> I'm starting that. I'm starting that discussion, baby. Now, a squid is anyone that rides a motorcycle in an unsafe fashion. Right? That's that's basically what a squid is. I think it comes from the fact that, like, these people are riding Japanese bikes and something to do with that originally but that's not what we're here to discuss we're here to discuss the act of squinting so it's usually usually it's used to refer to someone that's not wearing all of the appropriate safety gear um, and and is used as an insult referring to someone as a squid but there's a little bit of a, a little bit of leeway in what is and isn't a squid so I'm here to discuss that, alright? It's not a binary, you are a squid, or you aren't a squid. Because you could be out in a t-shirt and jeans, and someone's like, oh, look at this squid, and then next to you goes past someone on a jigsaw, wheeling in a singlet shorts and thongs, flapping their arm behind them, and you're like, oh, well, actually that person looks like more of a squid. So, you, you know, you see, you see what I mean? Like, it gets a little bit tough. So... I'm sure you've all heard of the crazy hot scale before. The crazy hot scale is whether or not you can date someone because they've got to be hotter than they are crazy. Right? That's and usually the hotter a girl is the crazier she's. That's that's the point of the scale. So the same thing with the squid. You've got on your y-axis, you've got a man of gear being worn. And on your x-axis, you've got type of riding being undertaken. Obviously going from safe riding to, to uh, you know, bloody, from safe riding to stunting at the end. With who's runs in the middle. And regular traffic before that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The y-axis goes from full gear to no gear so boom boom so you're very you're point zero right down here you've got someone that's riding just commuting in full leathers right that's that person is absolutely not a squid they're doing what they should be doing and wearing what they should be wearing right but that's not always how it works so then so we're going to be talking about the different levels and then the different riding. So then, slightly above that, you've got you got dudes that are wearing a jacket and just regular jeans, all right? And they're they're slightly slightly more squiddish because jeans aren't proper safety gear. They might have shoes on. So then you've got that level of squid. They're still still riding normally. Following that. You get someone that's riding in shorts and a jacket, which I've done in the past, because you know sometimes it gets really hot and it's hard to wear all the gear. And then following that, you've got a shirt and jeans, I guess. And then the next level above that, finally you've got ultimate squid, 
you've got shorts, singlet, and thongs. Right, that's maximum squidage right there. So that's that's our different uh, different levels in the Y axis. Then if we go to the X axis, right? We've got regular street riding. Follow that, we've got popping out to the shops. We've got commuting in traffic. Then we've got a hills run. And then finally we've got stunting, right? Stunting obviously being the the biggest chance of you falling off out of any of the any of the activities listed. So basically it's pretty easy to just to sort of plot these as a graph and see how you fall on the squid factor. Basically what you're trying to achieve is that you're riding safer. You're riding safer than the gear that you're wearing. And yeah, it's that simple baby. Let's not make it such a Yes, he is a risen squid. Let's, you know, let's take a look. If someone's just plotting around the streets and they're wearing shorts, fuck it. There's less chance of you getting hit and crashing and it's slower speed than if you're, like, bloody knee-dragging through the hills in, in shorts. And once again, if someone's if someone's popping wheelies and the jixxers in full race gear, probably not a squid. Let's stop... Let's stop using... Let's stop using squid as such a 100% this is what they are term and just sort of look at, you know, look at, look at the factors involved in the squidage. Because here's the thing, right? Telling someone that they're not wearing enough gear isn't going to make them wear any more gear. That's something they have to come to themselves. Alright? That's that's just how life works. They've got to come to that decision. You can try and help them out, but ultimately, if Bob doesn't want to wear fucking jeans, you can't make Bob wear jeans. That's that's the end of it. Anyway, hope you've all learned a little bit of something. That's not how you want, buddy. Hope you've all learned something. I sure haven't, because I've been given the little talk, but, uh, oh, this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna be, uh, running up those fucking stairs, because I hate myself. Hardio is fucking bullshit. Fooyah!